Now, in this video, we are going to take up some more uh, functions which will going to be operated on strings. The next one, what we are going to consider is the index number. The index will going to have the syntax which is uh, string dot index str beginning and end. So, for example, if you are considering a equals welcome to Python programming, this is the string what you have. A is the variable name. I want to find the index of the string or the character which is young. And what is the beginning character? The beginning of the string index number which starts from 10. Then further to the end. What will going to be the end? End I don't know what is the length of the string. So I don't know what is the index number of G. Since I don't know the what is the index number of G. So I cannot mention that directly. So instead of doing that what I am doing is. I am giving the length. I know what is the length of the string. I know the length function. So I am specifying this as the length function starting from the index number 10 what will going to be the output of this young the index number of young in the string a so the output will going to be the 24th number of the 24th index so how do i know because we have two double yams here and we have one more m here but if you consider this m we start from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth index you have m, but it is not listing m at the fifth index. Why? Because we are starting this, the beginning number as the index number as 10. So it won't consider this at all. So once you have 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So from here only it will start. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17 is the space number, index number, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. The first M after 10 will be having the index number at 24th number. So that is the reason why it shows that is 24 here. And even in 25 also you have one more M, but it will consider only the first number which uh, will going to be appearing of the first index number. When you are counting from the left hand side so that is the reason why you are getting 24. now then we will go for the right index uh, we have the string then the beginning and the end uh, this is the syntax string beginning and end suppose if you have hello c equals hello c dot r index that is the right index what is the length, uh, what is the string number which you want to find out? The index number of the string character L, comma 0, length of C. Since it is the right index number, so that means it is the last index which we need to be considered of the last character. So here, if you are beginning with this, 0, 1, 2, 3. So the L will be, the output will going to be 3. Because that is the last index which you are getting at the uh, last uh, uh, string that is L here. Even though you are getting a 2, you are not considering that index number because it is the right index that is the extreme index number of that particular character will going to be listed. So since L will be there in both in 3 and also in 2, since it is the right index, so it will going to list this index number as 3. Now we will going to start count. The next one will going to be a count. Count again you have the syntax as str beginning and end. So here string dot count str beginning and end. Suppose if you are considering an example welcome to python programming. I want to count the character o starting from the zeroth index to the length of that index that is length of that string variable a length of a so how many times this zero sorry o is repeating in this index i mean in this string so how many times zero sorry one two three four four times so the output will go to be four similarly 
Now we want to go for the one more uh, string function, which is replace. It will replace the word or a character with a new word or a character. For example, if you are considering str1 equals hello, welcome, Nisha. So this is the entire string which we have. I want to replace Nisha with Amuls. Since I want to replace Nisha with Amuls, so where exactly you want to replace? I want to replace in str1. So str1 dot replace. I want to replace in str1 wherein you have welcome, hello, welcome Nisha. Will Nisha will going to be replaced by Amuls. So the output will be hello, welcome Amuls. So hello, welcome Amuls. So that is the entire string you can or the word can be replaced. Amuls is a word, it has been replaced. Suppose similarly if you want to replace a character, also we can do that. Suppose if you are considering str1 dot replace o with r, wherever you have o, you replace that with a character r. So then what happens? H e l l r space w e l c o with r c r m e nisha. So this is how it will go to takes place. Hello, str1, h e l l r, welcome, w e l c r m e, then amuls, in this amuls it will be there on this. So this is how you will going to be able to replace either a word or a character. Now we go to split. So the next uh, function what we are going to consider is a split. What it does, it will going to split a string into number of characters. Suppose if you are considering str1 equals Kaveri Institute of Technology. So this is the name of the string. And I want to split this string wherever you have spaces. So that means str1 str1 dot split open and close parenthesis but you don't give anything there in that case it will going to wherever you have white spaces there it will going to split that means the output will be Kaveri then institute is one more string off is one more string and technology is one more string and this Kaveri instead of technology here str1 is an entire single string and now it has split into four different strings having Kaveri Institute of Technology as this operator. Similarly, if you don't, if you give specify any character there, it will going to split at that particular character. Means what? str1 dot split a character wherever you have u, there you split it. That is the meaning of this. So if you see uh, Kaveri Institute. C A U actually U wherever you have U there you split means that C A will going to become separate then B E R Y space I N S T I T U is there that U is split there so it becomes another word comma then T E Institute of Technology so it will going to replace that so this is how this split function will going to work in a string. Then I want to join what the join does. This allows the user to join the words together to form a single sentence. In the sense that, suppose you have name, hello, how are you? So these are the four different strings. And I want to join wherever you have spaces. There I want to join. And join by what? Join by means of giving one space. str1 equals give one space dot join. Name of the variable is hello. Print name. Print str1. So what it does? Here, the name when you are print, it will going to print the same thing whatever you have here. Hello, how are you? This will be printing like this. Here. Then print str1. str1 what you are drawing is and you are joining all the strings with giving a particular space. Hello is one string. Hello. Then you give one space. Then how is the another string. 
then or is the another string and then you have one more space and u is the another string <coughs> this entire thing will going to become a single string now so this is how we will be able to join the set of words to form a single sentence now then we will going to consider the one more upper what it does upper converts all the lower case letters into the upper case letters that means to the capital letters for example d equals hello welcome to python programming d dot upper so all these characters which are in smaller letters will going to convert into a capital letters upper case so you can see hello welcome to python programming similarly d equals hello d dot upper the output will be all are hello in capital letters hello in capital letters similarly we have the lower case letters string dot lower converts all the upper case letters into lower case letters that means if you have typed in upper case letters then it will be converted into lower case letter if the lower if any one of the if any of the characters is in lower case it will going to remain the same so for example if you say c dot c equals hello all are in capital letters c dot lower so the output will be hello will be written in all in lower case letters similarly suppose if you are considering c is equal to hello here you can observe h is only the capital letter all are in small letters if you say c dot lower case it converts the upper case letter into a lower case the output will be small h hello so that's what you will it reads all other characters which are in lower case it will be in lower case and only the capital letter h will be converted into a lower case in this case then swap case what does it mean converts all the lower case into upper case or upper case letters into lower case means what suppose if you have c equals small h capital e small l capital l small o then you have space capital w small e small l capital c small o small m capital e suppose if you say swap case now the output will be since here there is a small h so it becomes capital h since you have a capital e it becomes small e since you have small l it become capital l since you have a capital l it will going to become small l since you have small o it will going to become capital o and give one space since you have capital w here it becomes small w here it is small e and it will become capital e and here it is small l it will going to become capital l since you have small c it will become uh, capital c it becomes small c then here both o and m in small letters it becomes capital capital o m and here capital e it will become small e so that is what we will going to get this h will become capital this will become small this will become capital l this becomes small i l and this becomes capital o this will be small w capital e capital l small c capital o capital m small e that is what you will go to get the swapping of the cases now we have title string dot title your very first character in each word written with a capital letter for example if you have a equals hello welcome to python programming all are written in small letters a dot title if you have the function then the first word the first character in each word here hello is one word welcome is the another word to is the another word python is another word programming is the another word so in this what it does is title means every first character of every word so that means capital h then here capital w here capital t here capital p and here capital p so that is what you will going to get it here as the python programming so this is how you will be able to uh, use the uh, string functions in python programming now we will going to get back to how this we will be able to do it in further so here uh, we are starting from uh, find so we are starting from here 
so index number so since we are first starting from the index so we come down to the index okay now here index we have the uh, character that is the string beginning and end when you are talking about this what is the string you have welcome to python programming but this string the variable name i have stored as a and i want a dot index i want to know what is the position of m when you are starting from zero that is beginning till to the end that is length of a so if you run this so you are going to get it as fine but if you are considering the same m starting from the 10th character then what will going to be index number of this then if you run this it becomes 24 so the same m here it is 5 and the same m here it is 24 because your starting number is beginning the index number is from 0 that is from w so here in this case it starts from python so that is the reason why you are getting 24 here whereas you are getting 5 here then we are coming into the right index again str beginning and end welcome to python programming a dot or index m so 0 the length of a so since it is the right index of it starts from 0 the right index is there at 24 and also on 25th index number therefore since m is considered for the right index the last m which will going to be considered here is 25 so that is the reason why you are getting this number as 25 if you run this you can see that you will go to get 25 similarly if you are considering c equals hello where c dot right index l will be at the last right index so 0 1 2 3 so you will go to get the output as 3 because L will be there starting from 0 to the length of C. What is the length of C? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the length of C is the total is 4. That is the index number what I am talking about. Since L is there in 0, 1, 2 and 3. Since it is the right index therefore you are getting the index number as 3. Then we have count. How many number of times that O is there in your string a equals welcome to python programming that is the string which string what i am trying to count that is the number that is the character what i want to give o then starting index starting from 0 and then n is the length of a then you have 0 that is 1 here 2 3 and 4 O's are there in your program so or in your string so it counts gives 4 if you run this you will go to get 4 similarly a dot count m 0 comma length of a 1 2 and 3 so you want to get 3 suppose if you are coming to w if i say w and if you sorry if you say w and if you run this so you are going to get 1 suppose if i say capital w let us see what happens it says 0 why even though you have w here and here you are giving it as a capital letter the ascii code of small w is entirely different from the ascii code of small w so that is the reason why here it is giving it as 0 when you are typing with a capital letter then i want to come to the next function which is replace str1 equals hello welcome nisha str1 dot replace nisha with amuls so i want to replace the word itself so hello welcome amuls so you will go to get the output as hello welcome amuls wherever you have nisha there you want to replace that word as amuls so that is what we are doing here then you can replace even by using a character also so since it is a character i will going to replace o with r so then when you run this you can get 
wherever you have O, that is O is replaced by R. Here after C you have O, so after C that replaces O by R and Anisha, that is what you will want to get. So this is how you will be able to use the replace function. Now we are going for split. So str1 is having Kaveri Institute of Technology. I want to split wherever you have space. Then if you run this, if you just type print str1, say for example, if you run this, what it does, it gives Kaveri Institute of Technology directly. Okay. Suppose if you say print str1 dot split and then run this both then you can see the difference between these two in this str1 this is becomes an entire string having a single string so that is the reason why you are getting Kaveri Institute of Technology as a single string and when you want to print the str1 dot split wherever you have spaces there you want to split then Kaveri will going to become one string institute will be another off will be the third one and technology will going to be the fourth one and this is how it will going to work <coughs> and when you are considering str1 dot split and wherever you have you there you want to split if you run this program so you can see wherever you have you there you split means ca will going to become separate V E R Y space I N S T I T. You are going to get that T E of technology will going to be the last. So this is how you are going to split. Similarly, if you want to run this with O, then wherever you have O, you are going to split Kaveri Institute. Then O is there at this point, so F T N. Then O is there. You split there. L then again O is there you split there and GY you are going to split at that particular point. So this is how the split function will going to work on a string. Then I want to come to join. How to join? So name, hello, how are you? All are different strings. So str1, wherever you have space, where, where you join the words giving with a space. Suppose if you don't give space, see what happens. If you run this, hello, how are you? That is the print name one. So name, whatever you have, the same thing, it is going to be printed here. Then str1, join the words without giving space. Then hello, how are you? It is going to print continuously without giving space. If I give space here and then if you run, then it will going to give the space here also. So that is the basic difference of joining the words together. Similarly, when you want to come to the upper case, hello, welcome to Python programming is upper, D is the variable name, hello, welcome to Python programming, all are in small letters and you convert that into upper case, D dot upper, then all these characters or all these strings will going to become typed in capital letters. So you can see, hello, welcome to Python programming. Similarly, D equals hello, capital H and all our remaining are small letters and upper, wherever you have small letters that will be converted into uppercase and wherever you have uppercase, it will be reprinted as uppercase only. So when you run this, you will going to get hello. Similarly, we have hello, C that is the lower case letters, wherever you have uppercase that will be converted into lower case. Since here hello is all are in uppercase letter, c dot o here, it becomes all are in smaller case, hello. Similarly, c equals capital H, hello, all are uh, remaining small letters, c dot o here means capital H will be converted to small letters and remaining small letters will be retained as it is, hello. So that is how you will want to get this. Similarly, swap case, H E I. LLO welcome if you see this fact case wherever if you run this wherever here you have a small letter so it becomes capital here E is capital it becomes small here L small letter L here becomes capital here it is capital L it becomes small L here small O capital O gives space and here it is capital letter it becomes small 
here el are small letters here it becomes capital letters here it is c is small it becomes capital sorry capital c it becomes small c small om it becomes capital om and here it is capital e it becomes small e so it is swapping if it is a character having a capital letter then it will be swapped to a lower case if it is there in the original string it is in the lower case then in the swapped case it will going to become upper case so that is the how it will going to be swaps similarly we have the title a equals hello welcome to python programming it is a single uh, string each word begins with a capital letter in a title so h is capital welcome w is capital 2 2t is becomes capital p python becomes capital p and here programming becomes capital p so this is how this title function will going to work on a string so this is how you will be able to work on the string various string functions using python programming thank you